Sam Lichtenstein. Uh, two hot, tall guys in a row. This is cool. <laughs> All right, stop laughing now. <laughs> right. uh, what's up, guys? My name is uh, Sam Lichtenstein. It's, uh, it's a Jewish name. Uh... All right. <laughs> uh, a lot of Jews in show business uh, change their name, you know, to make it more easily pronounceable. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Sam Lichtenstein is actually my stage name. Um, my, original, my original name uh, was actually a lot more Jewish. Uh, my original name was actually Sam, Bank of America, uh, Goldman Sachs, Weather Channel, uh, Steam. So, I figured Lichtenstein Steam was a little easier. Uh, my last name's the same as, uh, as a country, which people tell me a lot. Uh, it's weird when your last name's the same as a country because uh, people just automatically assume you're lying to them upon introducing yourself. They'll be like, like uh, hey, what's up? My name's Sam, Sam Lichtenstein. They'll be like, Lichtenstein? Isn't that a country? And I'll be like, yeah. And they'll be like, what the hell? This is my last name can also be the same as a country. You know? uh, I don't feel bad for myself, but uh, I do feel bad for my cousin Johnny Mexico. <laughs> Just constantly getting his ID confiscated. You know? Nobody believes him. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, I feel myself getting older though. I, I I can tell I'm getting older based on the uh, the ads, targeted ads I get online. You know? So I'm in I'm in Gen Z. I used to get ads for like fast food and video games, uh, but now I get ads for like medications. <laughs> It's annoying because like companies feel like they have to put like a Gen Z twist on everything, like regardless of what they're selling. So like the other day I was scrolling Instagram and this ad came up that was like, "Is ulcerative colitis preventing you from recording your podcast in your parents' basement?" <laughs> it's like, I feel uh, insulted but also kind of seen. <laughs> And there was one right after that was like, erectile dysfunction is no laughing matter. Especially when you've got a full day of crypto mining ahead of you. Like, Jesus Christ. How the hell am I gonna keep running my crypto themed podcast? If I can't get a hard dick and my stomach doesn't work. <laughs> gotta think about my future, you know? That's why I can't wait till like Gen Z gets older, you know, because like we're gonna need old people products, but companies are gonna market to us in like the same exact like Gen Z slang, you know. I like, can't wait till I'm scrolling my feed and like 30 years and an ad comes up that's like, no cap, Pfizer's on new insulin, dead ass hit different on my diabetes, and that's on God. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo than erectile dysfunction in Cialis. Yeah. I, don't know. I try to stay off my phone. I try to set limits for myself, you know. I know I'm spending too much time on my phone when I uh, start to get like wrapped up in like news stories on social media, you know. Because like uh, news stories now are so like evocative and click like clickbaity on uh, like Facebook or whatever. I can't tell the difference anymore between like news headlines I read and porn video titles. <laughs> Like, I clicked on a story the other day on Facebook that was like, you won't last 30 seconds <laughs> watching the Senate Republican destroy an amateur little damn in this debate. And I was like, am I supposed to be hard right now? I was just trying to read the Daily Wire. Uh, I try to get it from both sides, though, you know, I can't be too partisan these days, you know. So I kept scrolling, I clicked on another story that was like, Watch Michelle Obama own this senator while her husband watches. <laughs> and, uh, I gotta be honest, guys, that, w that news story was so informative, it actually made me come. So... <laughs> All right, don't pull me. <laughs> What I'm saying is, you know, vote. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Keep it going for your host.